Hello everyone. Today we're going to go over the stitching of raw images in AVP. So let's go ahead and uh, jump right in. All right, I have our files right here. Uh, first, we're going to just take a quick look of the automatically stitched image. And now we're going to take a peek at the raw files. So these were taken separately but at the same location so we can see that we are indeed at the same spot. The left lens and the right lens. So let's go ahead and drag these into AVP. Uh, we're going to be using Auto Pano Giga. So first we want to come in and check to see the circular crop is for our lenses. Now this will ultimately result in the amount of pixels that the final result has. So you might have to do this multiple times if you do want the largest resolution. As of right now, this looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and uh, detect and see the stitched image that AVP has for us. So let's go ahead and uh, go on into it, see the control points. So it looks like we have a decent amount of control points to, to start out with. And because we, because AVP didn't detect uh, the most important control points, uh, we're going to have to zoom in and place them ourselves. So the most important ones are on the edge of the screen. So now we're just going to go ahead and start creating uh, single control points. And this is the, the bottom left corner of the right lens, and then the, the bottom right corner of the left lens. So that way we can tell the software where exactly their counterpoints or matching points are on both lenses and this way it, it enables us to create a, a crisp stitch through the AVP software which is Giga. So we're going to go through this uh, you know go through the, the corner and we're going to go up and find any important part on one of the edges of the screen. So we want we want as many control points, accurate control points, on the edge of the lens on both sides. So we're just going to go up and down, find the specific points, and place as many control points as possible to help out the stitch. So after we calculate all of the control points, auto generate, then we can see that it reevaluates which ones it thinks are good or not. So let's go ahead and uh, add some on this very far corner. And let's do it again and take a peek at what it looks like. And it actually looks really good. So it looks like we found the exact control points that we needed to make the perfect stitch. So we're going to go ahead and uh, blend these together and we're going to render and export it as a file, as a complete stitch file, and we're going to take a look at the result. So here we have the, uh, the latest that I just exported. Um, looks pretty good. Uh, we're just going to take a look at the uh, the image size, so these are the, the pixels. So we, as you can see, 5400 and 2700 um, compared to, this is the automatic, um, automatically stitched from the camera itself. And as you can see, it actually has higher pixels, a higher pixel resolution than the, the first, the, the last one that we did. Um, here's an, another example. 
and yet another example. So as you can see, the, the pixels, the resolution is going to be different depending on how you originally do the, um, the circular, the lens crop at the very first step. If we take a look at the circular crop, here is where the extra pixels come from. If you really want a higher resolution, then you can redo it. But I mean, if you're missing 100, 200 pixels uh, on each height and width, I personally don't think it's worth it. So there you go. Now we've, uh, we've gone through how to stitch the raw photos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.